Hello, Potato, and welcome to another Weekend Magic. We've made it through another week, and the weekend is here. And it's time to celebrate with a little Weekend Magic. Uh, today is going to be focused on, almost entirely, our Earth Day haul from last week. And that's such a weird thing to say, that there's an Earth Day haul. Earth Day has now become so commercialized that I have enough merchandise from Earth Day, and all from Disney, to call it a haul. And then at the end, we'll also have one other non-Earth Day thing that, of course, if you've looked at the thumbnail, you've already seen what it is. But we'll get on to that. So let's start with the first Earth Day item, which is this. The Disney Parks limited release Moana Earth Day 2021 pin featuring what, Tafiti? Yeah, it's Tafiti and Taka. Tafiti. You want to call it Takiti. It's Tafiti. Not Tahiti, but Tafiti. Yeah, it's a very nice little pin. In fact, let's uh, let's get a little bit of a closer look at it. Here we go, a little bit of a closer look at our Earth Day Tafiti pin. And she was $15.99. And I ordered her on Shop Disney because I honestly didn't think that they would have them in store. And of course we went in on Earth Day and they did actually have some. They didn't have any other mer Earth Day merchandise, including the key, but they have this. This is one of the things we ordered that came with one of those keys. And if you are interested in the key, I talked about the key last week's video. Uh, I described it as the cheapest key. And yeah, I was not super impressed with it, but I, I think I think it's a cool idea. It's just even cheaper than I thought it would be. But the pin, the pin's nice. Uh, it's nice and detailed. We've got a little pin on pin stuff going on here. There are two layers to the pin. And it is double back because it's actually, it's a pretty weighty pin. And also, you know, whatever you're pinning it on, you're sure you want it to stay facing upright and not, you know, not spin around. Which, you know, single back pins tend to do. Yeah, it's a nice little pin. Nice little remembrance of Earth Day. And uh, I know some people, some people don't like it when the pins have the year on them. And I get that. If you just wanted a nice Tafiti pin, uh, then, you know, having it say Earth Day 2021 on it isn't great. But honestly, I, I didn't even realize that when I first saw the pin online that it even said that. Those are fairly subtle in the background there, so you could probably get away without people not necessarily noticing. But that's nice. I I kind of want a, a Taka pin to go with it, but I suppose that would sort of defeat the purpose of an Earth Day pin, wouldn't it? So on Earth Day itself, Shop Disney released a line of merchandise called Fun Eat Repeat. Um, there were a few things like, you know, I think there were some dishes. There was a bunch of stuff. I don't remember all of it. All I remember is the stuff that we actually bought. And that is three items and they all showed up this week. The first being this. Play Drink Repeat. It is a reusable straw. So of course, you know, a lot of places more and more are banning those single use plastic straws that, yeah, we've all grown up on, but frankly, we don't need them. And you know, there are some, there are like ones that are more easily biodegradable. There are ones made out of paper. Shake Shack likes to use the paper ones. And the problem with those is those can get, those can get waterlogged pretty quickly. And of course, if you're somebody who, who really wants to have a straw and you eventually start to run into places that don't give straws out anymore, keeping your own with you is not the worst idea in the world. And we actually have something similar to this before. I think from a I think it was called Joey, J-O-I-E. We actually received it in one of those Taste of Home crates that I look at on here. I don't think it was, I don't remember if it was one that I looked at on here or one of the ones I looked at before doing videos on them, but we do have one. But what you get here is you get a little capsule with a strap. So I guess you could strap this onto your bag, but honestly, this strap feels really flimsy. Like it may be biodegradable and may indeed biodegrade while you're using it. So I would not encourage you to hang this off of anything. It just feels, it feels, it feels like it could go brittle very easy. I'm trying to think of the right words. It feels like it could go brittle and snap very easily. And then you want your straw and it's not there. I would, I would tuck this little capsule in your bag somewhere. I wouldn't, I wouldn't have it dangling off, even if it does look kind of cute. But inside the capsule, we have our reusable flexi Disney Play Drink Repeat silicone straw with a little top piece with uh, like the Disney version of the recycle logo on it. And I guess that's probably also there maybe to, uh, so the straw can't go, go all the way down into the drink. And very nice, you have a little straw cleaning brush. So when you're done, go run to the bathroom 
and just give it a good little quick clean out. Kind of straighten up. I, I, do, I do worry that over time, bending and unbending that is gonna eventually make it snap, but I have no idea what the life on a reusable straw is meant to be anyway, so maybe it's less than that. But you, you run it through, run it against the top. It should be all the way down to the middle if you do that. You know, run some water through it and you're good to go. Fold your brush back up, fold your straw back up. Now, obviously when you get home, you'll wanna take it out and maybe let it dry a little better, but you know, stick it all back into the capsule like so, and you are good to go for another meal. Now, a straw is not good enough. You need more than just a straw. Well, we've got the thing for that, and that's these. I actually do carry with me in my normal everyday uh, bag of holding, my, my purse, let's be honest, it's basically a purse, um, a set of utensils. They're uh, bamboo ones, I think they came from uh, Whole Foods. And so like a little, a little bamboo fork and a bamboo knife and a bamboo spoon, and it comes in a little pouch. And I've actually used it a number of times, like at the state fair and stuff, when they don't have you know utensils and you, you kind of need them or they don't give you enough and you're you know, sharing something. So this was kind of the thing that I saw on there that I personally wanted the most. And it is the fun eat repeat utensil and straw set. And I kind of thought these would be like really, really cheapy utensils, but they're actually, I mean, they're like plastic or probably bamboo or something, but they're, they're weightier than I thought they would be. I mean, they're not, does it say what they're actually made out of? Set includes reusable, Fork, spoon, knife, straw, and straw cleaner. And it doesn't say what they're made out of though. I don't I don't think any of the stuff's on the Shop Disney site anymore. But it's definitely, I mean, it's, it's a plastic, does it? It's made in China. Well, that's, so is everything else. That's a very weird knife. It's not serrated, it's actually like ridged. Look at that. I have no idea how well that would actually cut something, but it is a nice little utensil set. It's got the spoon in particular is quite, quite chunky. I love chunky utensils. And it comes with another one of the straws minus the little Mickey straw topper, but it does have the straw cleaner and it's not bent up in here. So you don't have to keep bending and unbending it. Now, this of course is much bigger than this. And it's, uh, it's not super light, but if you have somebody, if you're somebody who carries a big purse or you know, a big satchel or whatever, Again, not a bad thing to have, especially I could see going up to Disneyland because, uh, you know, utensils aren't always easily available. Bam, you're, you're, you're covered. You take those to the bathroom to wash it off when you're done. Roll it all back up. Toss it back in your bag. We actually bought a couple sets. We actually bought a couple sets of each of these. So we each have one. And uh, yeah, I mean, it's, I think particularly with the straw, this is going to be a thing where those of us who want to use straws, and I'm personally fine either way when it comes to having a straw. But if, somebody, if you're somebody who really, really likes having a straw, it's gonna be good to have one of these, not necessarily this one, but um, a reusable silicone straw that you can just keep in your bag going forward in the future. Because I do think we are gonna see the old style plastic straws go by the wayside. And I think some of the replacements just aren't great. And rather than carrying it up at some underpaid fast food worker because they don't have a straw for your soda, you can just, just take care of yourself. We have one more item from the fun eat repeat line and that is this. Now, this is something my wife picked out. Honestly, I thought these would be a little bit bigger than they are, but I was thinking, because I didn't look that closely at the description on the website, I was thinking they were like face towels, face flannels. They're actually, according to the packaging, dish towels. So the size makes a lot more sense. A set of four dishcloths. So yeah, for cleaning, ta for cleaning dishes, these are probably a more appropriate size. Again, we have the kind of Mickey head recycle logo on the front, and you get four of these little reusable dish towels. And a little thing to keep them in. Now that said, I think the reason I thought these were like washcloths is because I've seen people keep little little holders like this of washcloths next to their sink. I've never seen him do that for dish towels. Personally, myself, uh, we just have like the one dish towel out at a time. We use it when it gets mucky, you toss it in the wash and you pull out another one. But yeah, this one comes with four, so I guess, you know, if you do that, you could do that. But then I say have an interesting texture to them. They're a little rough, they're not super soft, but again, they're for your dishes, not your face. And again, I don't think they say what they're made out of, do they? I'm guessing it's that bamboo stuff. 
Yeah, it doesn't say. You'd think. You'd think being a... For Earth Day, they'd want to really shout out on the label what they were made of. Now, I guess these were maybe meant to be sold in Disney stores because they have the Disney store price tags on them. But yeah, we didn't see them in our in our surviving store. But maybe they got them late. Who knows? I, I'm still of the opinion that Shop Disney is kind of sabotaging the physical stores just to justify shutting more of them down. But price-wise, the utensil set was $19.99, which I think personally, that's not a bad deal for three utensils, a straw, and a lovely little carrying wrap. The individual straws were $9.99 each. And then the towel set was $26.99. So uh, the, the more, most expensive item in the set that we picked up. And I think there were a couple other things. I don't think any of them are still on the Shop Disney site, but I could be wrong. If you're interested, go check it out. Or who knows, judging by these price tags, maybe they did eventually show up in the Disney store. Now, when we ordered these actually on Earth Day, the Earth Day key, the paper key was gone. They were all out of those because we did we did throw the code in there again just to see if that would come up and nope, nothing, no, no, no good, no works, no more. However, they had started another thing where if you spent, I think it was $75, and keep in mind we bought two of each of these. If you spent $75, you got a free gift uh, that you could choose from a selection of, I think they had like a dozen items, maybe a few more. And, um, as I recall, there's only like one thing in there that I thought was particularly nice, and it was a thing that I already have, and I don't remember what it was. I remember going, oh, that's nice, that's why I bought it already. And so we, we kind of got down to, you know, what should we get? I mean, it's free, you might as well get something, you're spending the money. And we're down to, they have like a big plastic talking LGM from Toy Story, which, you know, I do like me some LGM. And this, obviously, we went with this. And it is a piece of jewelry. So my wife picked this one out for herself. And it is a little dangly ring. Uh, one size fits all because being the way, if you can see the way it is, like slide it out. You could of course bend that to fit whatever size your finger is. I could make it fit myself, but I'm not going to because that would be mean. And it has a little dangly Mickey head on it. And it states that the crystal is made from Swarovski. So it's fancy. It's also tiny. I want to say this sells on the website for like 25. And uh, yeah, we got it, you know, for free because why not? The box is not the best for it because it does slide right off of the uh, the mount there because of the kind of ring it is. But still, it's a cute little ring. And hey, it was free, so why not? One more item, not Earth Day. Actually, it's something from this week, and I was very surprised that it showed up yesterday. And that is our last item today. Let's let's put our pin out there too. So everything's in the shot. Everything's in the shot. The last item, our non-Earth Day item, is this. Yes, it is the new Disney Princess Key. This was available on, what, Tuesday? I think it was. Maybe it was Monday. No, it was Tuesday. Definitely was Tuesday. Um, if you bought $25 worth of stuff, you got this for free. And so, you know, you know how they've had the keys that you buy, the ones you pay for, the $12.99 ones? Those things just sit in the store because they order thousands of them. This not so much. Apparently it had run out by the uh, early afternoon. So I guess I'm, I'm lucky to have gotten one. But it's kind of an interesting looking key, I think. It's, um, it's still just the same basic plastic Disney key like all the other Disney keys. It's not made out of anything nicer, but it looks nicer. And that's because of the, the golden brown color scheme. But if you look closely on here, I don't think I can get the camera to really focus in on it. I mean, that's as good as we're going to get there. But you see the things that represent the different princesses. We've got like a uh, Anna Snowflake, the lamp from Aladdin for um, Jasmine. I think that's Mulan's fan. These are very tiny. Even I'm looking at them in person and they're very tiny. Let's see if I can get a little more light on them here. See if that helps at all. We've got Merida's bow, the little mermaid's seashell. I don't know what that is between the seashell and Mulan's fan. We've got an apple from, what was that? That'd be Snow White. We've got the rose from Beauty and the Beast. I don't know what that is. Oh, I think maybe it's a spinning wheel. I think it's maybe Sleeping Beauty's spinning wheel. 
Although that looks like Aurora's crown, I, I don't know. Got the stopwatch for Alice, who I don't, I personally don't consider a princess. She's just kind of, you know, a rich girl. Yeah, I don't recognize, I can't recognize the two, the one next to the stopwatch and the one next to the snowflake. But I'm sure you watching probably do know what they are and are yelling it at your screen right now. Feel free to leave in the comments if you do uh, recognize what they are. I don't. And then, of course, at the end here, we have the Disney castle all done up in glitter, which kind of makes me think of the the Diamond Edition Pops. You get like a Hot Topic or Box Lunch. And yeah, my wife looked at it and she thought, oh, that looks kind of cheesy. And I, I sort of get that, but I think the point is to sparkle. And I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but I can see the light reflecting off of the individual bits of glitter as I move it around. And I think that's, I think that's what they're going for. And it's cute. It's a, I honestly do think this is one of the better keys they've done recently. Uh, it's certainly a better giveaway key than the Earth Day paper key. Mine looks like it might be a little warped. Now, weirdly, they shipped this separately from the items that I ordered to get it, but they did all arrive on the same day, so that's interesting. Uh, this came like one of those bubble envelopes, but I mean, I'm just kind of now, now noticing that it might be a little bit warped, but I don't know if that's necessarily from the shipping or just a something to do with the way they're made or the way they're stored at the Shop Disney Warehouse. But I think that's going to wrap us up for this week. We have our Earth Day haul. We have my wife's free ring. I suppose we should leave it out so you can see it. Probably should have done that the whole time I was talking. And then we have our princess key, which if I stand up here, it'll probably knock everything over just like that. Still, that's going to do it for this week. I hope you found this. Oh, oh no, hold on. I've been making this a thing. I have to talk about what got me through this week. And it's gonna be a little bit of an odd choice this week because it's a three-year-old video game and that game is Fallout 76. And those of you who are gamers are probably groaning right now. And I get it, I totally get it. I've been playing 76 since beta. Um, I've seen it at its absolute worst. And it's a, it's a downright playable game. And every so often when I'm gaming, I like to play a game where I can just kind of wander around and shoot things. And I've loved Fallout New Vegas for that, to a lesser degree Fallout 4, but uh, 76 very much scratches that itch for me. And on Tuesday, they did start the new season, this new Armory season. So there's a little game board and daily achievements, new unlock visual items, like I've unlocked the Beehive already. And I haven't played the game since, I think, February when I finished the the, the Doctor Who ripoff season. So uh, yeah, I'm back to it now. And probably will be up until I finish this season. And um, I am, I am of course, Void Manashi in there. If you see me, feel free to say hi, but understand that being as I am actually quite, quite unsocial, I probably will just run away from you and I almost never have my headphones on. But yeah, that's, that's what's got me through this week. Uh, the new season of Fallout 76. I don't necessarily recommend it to you, but if you have Game Pass on, uh, on Xbox, it's part of Game Pass now, so you know, give it a try, why not? It's a kind of a chunky download, but it's, I, if you enjoy wandering around and shooting things, and I've yet to find another game that really kind of scratches that itch for me, it, it's, it can be very calming to just wander around and shoot things. And for real now, that's gonna wrap this up. I hope you found this all interesting or entertaining. If you did, please give the video a like and make sure you are subscribed to the channel and I'll see you in the next video. Hey, I just realized the, uh, the symbols are much more visible here on the card, where of course it says it's the ultimate princess celebration, which seems to basically just be this key and some pops. Um, well, I don't see Rapunzel's tower on the key at all. Maybe I'm just blind. But two, well, I can see that's a boat. I still don't know what it's from. And again, I can see that, that design a little better now too, and I still don't know what it's from. I think that might be Raya and the Last Dragon. I don't know. But yeah, let me know if you know what they are. I, I've i identified enough of them, so that's definitely then Aurora's crown, because that's not a spinning wheel. Oh, that's Moana's boat, isn't it? Duh. 
It's Moana's boat. Okay. Anyways, there you go. That's what it looks like. There's all the symbols. Bye.